look at the Catholic model of liturgy and the Catholic model of prayer, and they know that there's power in liturgy. Satanists know that. Satanists don't act like Pentecostals. You know, everybody in the room throwing their hands up, you know, jumping around and screaming and yelling and hanging on the chandelier. A satanic black mass is ordered. It's liturgical. They follow the Catholic protocol because they understand that there's power in structure, in order, in form. It's like a military. And so the Protestant model, once again, they don't understand that there are, there's a... There's actually three priests. We as Catholics believe we have Jesus Christ, the high priest, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Then you have the sacerdotal priesthood. These are the Catholic priests of the New Testament. And then you have the royal priesthood. That's you and I. Okay. Let me go through some things that are going to help. Let me give you some practical tools here. Some practical tools that are going to... Uh, remember what I told you? The, the Catholic Church's prayers are beautiful. They're the basic prayers of the church. It's the foundation of our Catholic faith. But we also need more gunpowder in our prayers, especially you as men. You as men have the authority to fire more powerful rounds than your wife and your children because of your office. Not because you're super holy, not because you're good lucky, not because you work out. No, office, office, office. This is everything to angels and demons. They understand this. Does the person pray? Do they have the office to do what they're doing? And if you don't, you will be retaliated against. 